Hello world! If you're here with us today, we are in Anchorage, Alaska for the ceremonial start of the Iditarod race. I'll try and turn the camera around, show you your host. It's a little cold here, so I'm working with mittens, so you gotta bear with me. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you happen to be in the world. There's the sun, there we go. My name is Cora Rose of the Art We There Yet Project, and currently coming to you from Anchorage, Alaska, where we are experiencing the start of Guy Diderod race. This is super exciting. This race goes from, oh, here comes a team. So I'm gonna turn this around. Here we go, here comes a team. They leave in two minute intervals. Try and hold this steady. Here they come. Here they come. Yay! And off they go. Oh, it's very, very, very cold. So here in Anchorage, this is the ceremonial start. So they are starting here and giving waves and everybody's cheering. And then tomorrow, the real, real start starts happens in Willow, Anchorage, or Willow, Alaska. Sorry, somebody's distracting me. <laughs> uh, ooh, somebody's shouting, of course. Oh boy, oh boy. So I think another team is coming pretty soon here. I gotta put on my mittens. It is, uh, about two degrees right now, so having my gloves off, it's painful. So I'm gonna put my mittens on and try and get this turned around and ready for the next team. Okay. Whew. It's cold. It's very, very, very cold. Bosca, hi, how's it going? Welcome to the Iditarod. Right now you are in Anchorage, Alaska. Oh, watching the beginning of the Iditarod race. These sled dogs and their teams are about to go on a thousand mile race all the way up to Nome, Alaska. And very soon here, there should be another team coming through Eduardo, where are you right now in the world? I gotta get my other mitten. Woof, it's cold. It's really cold. It's about two degrees here. North Italy, awesome. Oh, here comes the sled. Okay, Eduardo, watch this. Here they come. Here they come. Check it out. Yay. Pretty awesome, right? Yeah, that's really cool. It's really cool to see them. So today is the, the ceremonial start. They're gonna have another start tomorrow. Um, 
in a, in a smaller town and that's where the race really 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 begins so today is kind of like a parade almost where they get to go I think they're doing 11 miles today and downtown is just packed you can see the whole street is just lined with people I've made it all the way back here to a part where there's a little less people but the closer you get to the very start it's just packed it's crazy amount of people but it makes sense because this is a very very famous race and uh, I think this is the 51st edition so this has been going on for over 50 years now I think so it's quite a thing and from here so from this area the dogs only go north and it's cold already it's like two degrees here right now my fingers are freezing what's it like in in northern Italy what, what are the temperatures like where you guys are right now it's very very cold and I can't believe these teens are gonna be going off to be in even colder places oh here comes another teen so here comes another teen they're farther away right now but once they hit the Sun you'll see them so if you're just tuning in now, you are here experiencing the start of the Iditarod race in Alaska. Here they come. There they are. Yeah. Nine p.m. So ten degrees. Oh, I'm a silly American, and I think in Fahrenheit. So ten degrees Celsius would be how much in Fahrenheit? I'm always bad at the math. Ten degrees Celsius, maybe like sixty degrees, fifty or sixty degrees Fahrenheit. I'm not sure. Oh, gosh. There we go. Yeah. So. From here, the racers just head north and they're going to end after a thousand miles up in Nome, Alaska, which is a city you can't even get to by, you can't get there by car. There's no road there. You have to fly to it, which is crazy. The only way to get to Nome is flying or boat. Crazy. Or dog, I guess. <laughs> or dog sled, that's the other way you can get there. But it's quite a journey and it's cold and it's lots of snow and they have to, once they're out there, they're out there. You know, I'm sure they have support teams. Oh, it's 50, oh, I was right, awesome. Oh, here comes another team. Here comes another team. There they are. The dogs have so much energy, it's amazing. You know, to start them on the race, uh, if you were to be at the start right now, at the very, very beginning, they have the teams hooked up to a snowmobile. They have to like hook it up to a snowmobile because if not, the dogs would just go and they can't, they, they have so much energy, they just wanna go, they wanna go, go, go. So they have to, uh, when they come forward to the start line, they're dragging a snowmobile so that they can't go very fast and the snowmobile is kind of going slow, so stopping the dogs from being able to just take off. You too, Eduardo, have a nice day. I'm so happy you tuned in and got to see a little bit of this. It's a really cool thing, huh? Have a wonderful evening. Enjoy your nice warm weather. Send some our way, please. <laughs> So the dogs have so much energy that they just want to go. So they have to like weigh them down with a snowmobile. And then at the very beginning, they have a team of firefighters pile onto the sled to weigh down the sled so the dogs can't pull it. And then they count down five, four, three, two, one. And then all the firefighters jump off of the sled and then the dogs just go like a bullet out of a gun. It's crazy. They have so much energy. You know, it makes me think of my family's, uh, we had a husky for many years and 
and it makes sense. They just, dogs like that, they're just bred for it. They just want to go, they want to pull. They want to pull anything. Oh, here comes another team. Here comes another team. Here they come. It's hard for me to see. There they are. Yeah, those dogs, they are, it's amazing to me they have the energy and the stamina to do a thousand miles in this kind of weather, this cold, it's crazy. But yeah, it makes me think of my family's husky. She just wanted to pull, she just wanted to go. She had so much energy and she loved the snow, she loved the cold. That was in her most happy place. So it makes sense to me that, you know, the dogs were bred for this, that's what they want to do. And once they get the chance to pull, they just go for it. Whew. All right, guys, well, my fingers are freezing. This has been about a 10 minute live stream, which I think is perfect. If you tune in later, I hope you enjoy uh, joining us here for a little snippet of the start of the Iditarod. Quite an amazing event. It's really cool to be here. It takes a lot of effort and time and everything to get here, so. We hope that you enjoy glancing at this awesome event in the north of the world. Hope you have a wonderful day or evening or afternoon, wherever you happen to be. Sending big, warm hugs. Talk to you later, and hopefully we'll see you tomorrow for the premiere of our new video on our channel. Aren't we there yet? Bye, guys.